Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Fayla Nay back with another video and for today's video I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup haul. I know how much you guys love watching hauls on my channel and I figured today I would make it specifically a drugstore because I actually recently received a crazy package from L'Oreal Cosmetics and I figured I would sit here and show you guys the items that I got in that package and just make this completely a L'Oreal haul just showing you guys some new products some products that aren't necessarily new but are definite must-haves if you haven't tried them out and yeah just kind of like chit-chatting like I'm basically opening a package with you guys as if you were here. So before we get started, if you are new to my channel, like I said, my name is Fayla Nay. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and checking it out, hanging out with your girl. I really hope that you enjoy just chit-chatting and hanging out with me and checking out some of the products that I received from L'Oreal Cosmetics. If you do, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up to let me know and make sure that you click on that subscribe button down below to join my fam here on YouTube and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you are not new to my channel then you already know what it is so thank you so much for coming back and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the haul all right guys so this is the box that we are working with and it might not look like a lot but makeup products are not very big so a lot of stuff actually was able to fit in this box and I was low-key shook so I'm just going to pull the items out of the box and just share them with you as they come out. So the very first product that is in here is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother, which looks like this. And if you are an OG beauty community YouTuber, then you remember back in the day when this was like everything that everybody was talking about. It looks like this and it's basically like a smoothing primer. It comes out clear and it claims to erase the look of wrinkles, lines, and pores, which if I remember correctly, it does just that. I remember purchasing this and repurchasing this product several times back in the day when this was the pop-in product to use for smoothing out your pores and smoothing out your fine lines and all of that good stuff. Next up we have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender Setting Spray. I have tried this product out before as well and if you haven't tried it I highly recommend it if you're looking for a really good affordable drugstore setting spray. It works really well. Okay so next up we have a couple of skincare products and I'm actually just going to take everything out of the box because I feel like that would just make everybody's life so much easier. And then that way I can just pull the products from the table and talk about them. Okay, so first up, we have two masks. These are the L'Oreal Pure Clay Masks. And I have the Exfoliate and Refine as well as the Purify and Mattify. I have actually really been wanting to get my hands on both of these for a very long time. I remember when they launched, they're still relatively new, um, but I have been wanting to pick them up for a while and just have never gotten around to purchasing them. So I'm super excited to have them now and to try them out. Let me know down below if you guys have tried these out, what you think about them. They also sent over their Blend Artist Infallible uh, Blending Sponge. This is a bomb sponge. Probably one of the best ones at the drugstore next to the Sonia Kashuk, um, the Sonia Kashuk blending sponges. These right here. If you haven't tried these from Sonia Kashuk, they are bomb. I've mentioned them in a previous video, but they're amazing. But this one is also really good as well. One of my favorites from the drugstore for sure. So I have an extra one of those. And then lastly, for skincare, I have the L'Oreal Youth Code Dark Spot Corrector Serum Treatment and the day moisturizer so i look forward to trying these out i do have dark spots in this area of my face which you guys know if you watch my videos so hoping that these will kind of help with clearing that out or clearing it up it does say on here that with the serum it claims to show brighter skin in one week and with the moisturizer fade dark spots in four weeks so I will definitely try these out and we'll keep you posted. And then next up, let's go ahead and get into the makeup, which is what is inside of all of these bags right here. Okay, so in the first bag, we actually have a couple of face products. The first thing that I have is two setting powders. 
I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Matte Finish Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Golden Beige. And then I also have the True Match Super Blendable Powder, and this one is in the shade Classic Tan. So I have actually tried both of these before, and this one is going to give you not a super heavy coverage, a little bit more of a sheer coverage, but it's going to help to mattify your skin. Whereas this one is going to be like a powder foundation. If you want to wear it on its own, you could do that, or if you want to use it to set your foundation to give yourself an extra layer or layer of coverage you can do that as well and then they also sent over one of their blushes which i've never tried out any of the blushes from l'oreal but this is one from their true match line and it's in the shade subtle sable and it looks really pretty it's like a pink like a peachy pink kind of shade and i'm not sure you guys probably won't be able to see this at all on camera but it'll probably be a really beautiful peachy pink flush on the cheeks. So excited to try that out. Also have a L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer. I never hear people talk about these. So I don't know if they're good or not. But I'm definitely going to try it out and see if I like it. Um, it is part of the True Match line. So my guess is that it hopefully is pretty full coverage. But we shall see. And then I'm super excited to have gotten these right here. These are the new L'Oreal Crushed Foil Metallic Highlighters. Now we all know ever since Maybelline came out with their highlighters, I, I don't know about y'all, but I have been low-key waiting for more brands to come out with bomb super pigmented AF highlighters. And when I saw these, I was so excited. So there are two shades. We have Rose Quartz and Gilded Gold. And I did go ahead and put some swatches on my fingers to show you guys. So here we have Rose Quartz, yes, and then here we have Gilded Gold. Honey, these are gorgeous, super pigmented. They were also really soft to the touch when I was like putting my finger in there to swatch them. So very excited to try both of those out. And then also from the Crushed Foil line, they sent over two of their eyeshadows. So we have the shade Diamond Dust and the shade Gilded Gold again. So here is Diamond Dust. Right there. Ooh, in the viewfinder, that color is popping. And then here is Gilded Gold. Right there. So... All four of these shades are super metallic, like they are not playing on the pigmentation. I'm so excited to try these on my eyes. And then last but not least, we have one more bag here. So the first thing that I have in here is the L'Oreal Infallible Long Wear Shaping Stick. This is basically a foundation stick. And I have mine in the shade 409 Honey. And I'm very excited to have gotten this because I have not tried out this product, but I have heard a lot of really good things about it. And when I was swatching it on my hand earlier just to see if it was a good shade match, it was super creamy, which makes me feel like it will blend out beautifully on the skin. So let me know down below if you guys would like a dedicated review on this little baby right here. It is a new product. I've never tried it out, so... Definitely let me know if you guys would be interested in a review on that. I also have the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Boost and Set Brow Setting Gel, which I have tried that before as well, and it is really good. Next up, I have two more foundations. I have the Infallible Pro Glow Foundation, which is this one right here. It's in the shade 208 Sun Beige, which hopefully that'll match me, but if not, I can probably mix it in with other foundations. And then I also have two of the Infallible Pro Matte Foundations in Classic Tan, which is my shade, and Fresh Beige. And if you have been following my channel for a while, I used to be ride or die for this foundation. I literally used to use this foundation in every single video. I was obsessed with it, and I'm still really obsessed with it. I obviously have a much bigger foundation collection than I did back in the day. But this is still a really good foundation. It applies beautifully to the skin. It looks flawless. Like this was my go-to favorite drugstore foundation for a hot minute before everybody else in the drugstore started stepping their game up. So if you have not tried out this foundation and you are into matte foundations, I would highly recommend trying this out. And then next up I have a product that I actually already opened, but this is the Infallible, what is this called? Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what this is called because I've already opened it, but it's basically a brow pomade, and this one is in the shade Espresso. 
I wanted to open it because I was a little nervous. Honestly, I was like, ooh, that looks like it's going to be too dark, which... It'll probably be pretty dark, but I should be able to work with it. But yeah, it's just a little brow pomade. I haven't really tried too many brow pomades. I'm more of a brow pencil kind of girl, but I am glad to have received this one because their brow pencils in this line are really good. So I will definitely give it a try and let you guys know how I like it. And then last but not least, I have a bunch of lip liners. So these are the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte. Um, sharpenable lip liners and I have six different shades it looks like I have a couple of like red tone shades um, some plummy shades some nudes and then a hot pink shade and these have that like really annoying um, like plastic wrap around them that you have to pick and they're a biatch to get off so I'm not going to do swatches of these right now just because I don't feel like sitting here and peeling all of the wrapper off of every single one of these lip pencils. Um, I think I already opened, yeah, I already opened two. So I'll show you these two. Um, this one is in the shade Matte It, which obviously, where do I want to swatch these? I guess I'll swatch them up here. Obviously I opened the nudes. So there we have Matte It. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it's basically just like a cool toned kind of mauve nude shade. And then this one is in matting call or yeah, matting call <laughs> and it looks like that. So that one's basically kind of like your brown toned nude shade. So yeah, that's two of them. I don't feel like opening the other one girl. Like I just... I don't have the patience right now, but that is everything that I received from L'Oreal in my PR package. I'm super excited to play around with all of this stuff. I didn't want to get too chatty in this video because you guys already know I can get to chatting and then this video will be 30 minutes like that. So I kind of wanted to just get through the products, share with you guys the items that I received and yeah, let me know what you're interested in, what caught your eye, what items you guys would like to see in action on my channel. And I'll put together maybe like a drugstore video or like a full face using L'Oreal products because I do have other L'Oreal products in my collection already that I do really love. So let me know down below what you guys want to see, how you want to see these in action. Like what, what are you interested in? What do y'all want to see? Let me know down below in the comments. So... Yeah, that is all that I have for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this little chit chatty, little unboxing situation. Let me know if you like these types of videos. I can do more of them for you guys in the future. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new, girl, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, I'll wait. And that is all that I have for today's video. So thank you guys so much again for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you very soon in my next one.